Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about sneak peek for 24 May 2023 maintenance update. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, this is a server official website for 24 May 2023 maintenance update. On SEA server, this maintenance will occur as always from 6 am until 10 am GMT plus 8, but take notice at this time, website also will be maintenance. Okay, next, the reason for this week maintenance update. First, after this maintenance done, they will release expansion for the Magnus questline to unlock Land of Morning Light Abyssal Vein. And before you can do expansion for this Magnus questline, you must finish the Magnus quest line that I guide you from part 1, part 2, until the end at part 3. And after you finish all this Magnus quest line until part 3, you can start this expansion quest line for the Magnus content to unlock this abyssal vein to teleport to land of morning light. And more detail guide how to finish this the Magnus quest line, you can follow this puzzle guide on this video description. And next reason for this update, after this maintenance done, we will start this summer season 2023. And this update just come from last Global Lab update at 19 May 2023 when I mentioning about new summer season 2023. And from this summer season 2023, we can get 140 false stack from this seasonal content that I mentioned on this Global Lab update. And on this summer season 2023, they will add new training content for seasonal character only that you can get so much reward for this training content by finishing season pass on the summer season 2023 and also they still keep fishing content for this seasonal content that they just start from last spring season 2023 and from this fishing content you also still can get this dreamy crystal of balance that this item is used to get free pen capotia accessory with 100% guarantee enhancement and once again, more detailed info about this summer season 2023, you can check on my last Global Lab update at 19 May 2023. Okay, next reason for this update, they will implement automatic worker stamina recovery function. Actually, about this quality of life, this is just implement from last Global Lab update at 12 May 2023 when I mentioning about auto feeding for worker function. But take notice on this week maintenance update, we still didn't have any update for level 40 worker. But we only can get this auto feeding function for now. So after this maintenance done, if you put any worker stamina recovery item on your family inventory, this item will auto consume by your worker if they can recover their stamina using those item. And because this auto feeding for worker only available if you put any worker recovery stamina item on your family inventory, for sure to use this function, you need to unlock family inventory that I got you on this video. Okay, the next reason for this update, they will increase maximum LT for some wagon. And this update also just come from last Global Lab update at 12 May 2023. That after this maintenance done, this is any wagon that will get update buff for their maximum weight limit. But take notice, YB wagon and forest pet wagon weight limit still same as before. And the next reason for this update, they will implement additional old moon furniture workshop for port aperia furniture. And this update just implement from last Global Lab update at 12 May 2023 that they will update this Old Moon Furniture Workshop for per furniture that have them from Port Eperia. And you can craft this per item furniture from any major city that's shown on this list. And this is some preview for this Port Eperia furniture that you can craft after this maintenance done. Okay, next reason for this update, they will add quality of life function to instant move any item from any other character in your account. And this huge quality of life just come from last Global Lab update at 12 May 2023 when I mentioning about instant move item between character. So after this maintenance done, you can take any item from your Artonet character inventory 
to your active character just by using might function. Because previously, if you want to move your item from any other character, you need to put it manually to your city storage, and then we need to change our character again to take those item. And after this maintenance done, they just add instant move any item on your alternate character inventory just by using might function. Okay, when I test it on global lab server, when I accessing my alternate character inventory on this connect menu and click my alternate character inventory, for example, if I take three pieces of this item, I just need to right click this item on my alternate character inventory and then this notification will appear that this notification mention you will use your storage mate and this 15 number is available storage mate that I have and maximum I can put 100 LT per one mate and if I confirm it this item will move instantly to my active character as you can see this item just increased three pieces that I got from my side character okay for another example I will move this techno first shield from my warrior and as you can see this mate already become 14 because I already used it previously to take item from my side character and if I confirm it as you can see I just get this Tetno Versilt from my Warrior Character Inventory instantly by using this Mate function. So this is become more convenient to move any item from one character to another character as long as you have Mate Storage active on your account. But take notice this function cannot be used for any trap item, character bone item, any treasure item, and also any infinite potion. And all these items that I already mentioned before, this is any item that not allow to be transport using remote storage from the Magnus content. Okay, that's all the reason for this week maintenance update. And any other update that they didn't mention on this sneak peek website will following from last global lab update at 12 May 2023, except WOSA Awakening update. Because WOSA Awakening update or the schedule, she will release at 31 May 2023. So just stay tuned for next maintenance update for WOSA Awakening update. Okay, next about ending event. On SEA server, there are four events that will end after this maintenance done. First event that will end is daily special carried on Spring Breeze. Actually, this event or the extent that previously will end at 10 May 2023. So make sure before this maintenance start, if you check your in-game, make sure you claim this daily special reward that you can find it on top right of your screen. And make sure before this maintenance start, you claim any reward that you can claim from this daily special login reward. And if you already unlock this daily special pass, make sure you also claim any reward from this daily special login. Because after this maintenance done, this window will disappear so you cannot claim it anymore. And the next event that will end is giddy up for a training bonanza. So when this maintenance start, this is the end for this horse event that after this maintenance done, any life XP and mon XP plus 50% will be gone. And then on this 23 May 2023 server reset time, this is the last day to get this playtime challenge reward that you can get it by stay login on Black Desert World for 30 minute and 60 minute duration. And you can claim all this reward from your challenge page by pressing Y. And then after this maintenance done, this is end period to get this event Imperial Training Delivery Invoice and also to get double amount of Flower Oblivion from Horse Imperial Delivery. So make sure before this maintenance start, you hand over any horse who have reached level 15 or higher to Horse Imperial Delivery from any major city stable keeper to get this event Imperial Training Delivery Invoice and also double amount of Oblivion during this event period. And then because after this maintenance done, this training event will be end. This is end period to get weekly quest from Wapra NPC at Stonetail Horse Runs to get 30 pieces royal from root and mythical feeder. So make sure you take this event weekly quest from Wapra NPC material vendor at Stonetail Horse Runs that this NPC located on this area on map at media region. Okay, next event that will end is Wild King Seng appear. So after this maintenance done, we cannot find this even Centennial Wild King Seng and also even Seven Year Wild King Seng from any gathering content. And if you still have this even King Seng, 
you still can use it after this event end, but take notice for this event 7 year while Gingseng. This is have expired date 3 days after you get it, so make sure you use it before this item expired. And the last event that will end is now the time to try new class, 90% of item copy. So before this maintenance start, this is your last chance to get 90% discount to use smarty unstable fuel to copy your gear for your alternate character. So make sure before this maintenance start, if you last time copy your gear for your alternate character, make sure you decide your alternate character to use this item copy function before this maintenance start because cost for this smarty unstable fuel will be normal again after this maintenance done. And if you still haven't unlocked this copy gear function, you can follow my guide to finish this copy function questline that I show you on this video. Once again, you can check this video in this video description. Okay, that's all for event that will end on SEA server after this maintenance done. And make sure you check your own region official website. Maybe there are special event that only occur and will be end on your regional server only. And next, review about per shop ending sale before this maintenance start. If you check your per shop and go to hot tab, there are some packages that will end its sale period after this maintenance start. But there are some packages that I want to highlight. It's about my special deal to get made hair box that have discount 50% during this event period. And also there are some sale for this wizard gossipy for 50% sale that also will be end after this maintenance start. And another sell item is equipment tailoring coupon for 30% sale. And also character inventory expansion coupon plus 16 that have discount 40% during this event period. And there are also have some ending sale for any kind of training per item. Either Mount All Skill Training Coupon, Mount Branding Spell Stone, Premium Horse Appearance Change Coupon, and Horse Breeding Reset either female and male version. That all this training per item sale have discount 40% that will be end after this maintenance start. And if you check on best tab, there are also some packages that will be end after this maintenance start like Venia Riding Set that you can get Venia Riding Attire and also Venia Riding Hat that you can open both of this box for your specific class and also any other package that you can check it yourself. Okay, that's all any ending sale period on SEA server before this maintenance start. And that's all sneak peek info before 24 May 2023 maintenance update. And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. And also my current member, Dubia Dut, Jimmy Snake, Doki, Angel, Ayrton, Wemi, Bebu, Iliana Nico, Detraki, Grosak, Snot, Sorship TV, Cho Tomate, Lana Love Linda, Seni Pegar, S Gold member. And also for all my silver and bronze member, thank you so much for all your direct support. This is will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video depend on your support level. And be noticed at some level there are have some limit, so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.